back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a Primark haul for you because I was at Primark yesterday and I picked up a bunch of stuff so I thought I would share it with you and do a bit of a haul. It's not huge but I thought I would do one anyway for the sake of a Primark haul and then I've got another haul coming potentially in the future but we're going to keep this one exclusively Primark for the time being. So I went to Primark yesterday as I already mentioned. I got one big bag and then one medium sized bag. Personally I don't feel like I needed two bags but I mean I guess it makes the haul look a little bit more extravagant so. So I'm just going to get started, go through everything, hopefully I'll have a chance to film also try on clips to go along with the video but this video is meant to go up tonight so I don't know if we'll have time for that but hopefully we'll see some try on clips too as well because that is always so much more useful for you guys and I know you definitely prefer that as well. I'm just going to get started in no particular order. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you did, subscribe down there, all that good stuff and we'll get started. So first up, super boring, I picked up some socks. I always pick up socks on the little, um, when you're waiting for the checkouts, I always pick up black socks because um, they're cheap in Primark and I always need new socks so but super boring but I picked up those because they're an essential. So the next thing which I picked up from Primark, I really, really love and it fits really well. It's a little bit on the tight side, I guess, but it fits your figure really, really nicely, which is what I liked about it. Nothing is baggy in certain areas, which is sometimes a problem with Primark because their shaping is sometimes a little bit off, but this fits really nicely. And it was 12 pounds. I got it in a size eight or 36 in Europe. It's like an ivy dark green colour, got a low V front. Usually this kind of low front is something which I would avoid but because it hugs your figure so so nicely I don't feel like I'm revealing too much or that I feel like things are going to go in the wrong place and show what I don't want to show. So I do really really like the style of this. It's long sleeved which is always handy for the winter time and it's a bodysuit so it tucks nicely under your jeans or skirt or whatever you're wearing and avoids anything wrinkling or looking funny. So I do really love this and it was £12 which I think is so nice for such a nice top to wear on like a night out but you could always wear this during the day. Next up I bought a bunch of jumpers. I have I think four or three jumpers to show you and I just kind of went a little bit crazy. The first one I really really like purely because it's not too thick. I have plenty super thick knit jumpers and they're great, don't get me wrong, they keep you warm but sometimes you just want something on a little bit of a thinner side that is maybe a bit more comfortable underneath the jacket. I don't know, I just wanted some something different. So this is super super soft for Primark, I'm so impressed. It used to be 10 euros but they reduced it to three because I got it in sale and like a nice creamy colour and the sleeves kind of flare out a little bit. They've got bits here which flare out and I just thought although it's super basic for three euros I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of something like this. Next up we have another jumper. This is as you can see a black and white striped jumper. I don't own anything like this so I thought I would try something new. Stripes is something which I usually stay away from. I don't know why, they just don't usually appeal to me but I don't know, something attracted me to this one and this cost me 10 euros and I don't know, it looks like this. I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be really oversized and I just thought I could wear this with jeans, skirts, anything really and because it's black and white it could go with so so much. So. Yeah, that is jumper number two which I picked up. Jumper number three is something which I can't personally say is something which I love and would buy and wear on a regular basis but it was so Christmassy I felt like I could get plenty of use out of it and I wanted a red jumper because I don't own any red jumpers basically. So this is what it looks like here, it's a really nice like deep kind of Christmassy red in my opinion. It is super super soft. I don't know how to describe this type of material but it's not like a cable knit woolen jumper. It's more like thick. I don't know. It just feels really good quality. It cost me 16 euros and again I like the other jumper. I got it in a size medium because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized and I really like the sleeves on it. It's got little flares on the sleeves. I haven't tried this on so I don't know if it looks silly but I don't know it just looks kind of Christmassy maybe not a style or a colour which I would wear during all the other months in the year but in December I just wanted something that was a Christmassy colour 
and got me in the festive mood so I picked this up and again this was 16 euros hopefully it looks okay on okay what next next up I picked up a hat this is just like a grey ribbed beanie it was from the men's section because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger the ones in the female section were really really small and they made your head look like a little pea so I picked up one of the men's hoping that it would be a bit bigger a little bit more comfortable and kind of loose on my head so this was three euros and I also like how it's got this little badge which is kind of stitched onto the front just makes it a little bit different and not so basic so I picked up this then from Primark I picked up something which is quite far out my comfort zone and I don't know if it was really worth my money I felt like this would go so so well with some of the jumpers which I bought particularly this one I don't know how it's gonna look when I try it on but I'm hoping that it turns out okay on my head otherwise I'm gonna have to return this so it is basically a faux leather what would you call this like pinafore style it's in a size 12 I feel like I've got everything in such a humongous size in this haul but I thought this would be really cool in winter time to look a little bit more kind of stylish without wearing jeans and a jumper which is what I always wear in winter time so pick this up it's really soft and kind of like an a-line skirt at the bottom as I said it's a size 12 so I don't know if this is just gonna look silly and could potentially look like a bin bag on me not gonna lie because it's black and leather we'll see how this goes I hope it looks nice and works out how I want it to work out but it might not this was 16 pounds and as I said it was a size 12 so we'll see and finally from Primark I didn't get that much not gonna lie the Primark which I went to isn't that big and also isn't that good the section for women's clothes is tiny they have so much underwear so many pajamas but like no clothes so I try my hardest but really I don't have much to show you in this haul I'm sorry so the final thing which I got from Primark are a pair of shoes these are these faux like suede um gray booties they are super super small with the heels which I like because I'm tall already so I don't need I don't need any more heights so having like small heels on boots is ideal for me and especially they're just so much more comfier if you're wearing them on an everyday basis these are a size 7 because that's the size of feet which I have and they cost me 10 pounds and I just like the color I like the style they're pretty simple but I feel like I can get a lot of wear out of these and I usually find with Primark shoes they're actually pretty comfy. I don't know why but I usually love Primark shoes. So yeah, that is what they look like and they cost me £10. So guys, that's everything which I bought in Primark. I know it wasn't too much, sorry. I tried my best but I couldn't find all that much which I really liked in the shop but I did try my best. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon tomorrow for another video. Bye guys!